Now let's look at brain plasticity and adaptability. One of the major differences between an artificial neural network and a biological neural network is the plasticity or malleability of the brain. While the artificial neural network by name is not biological, currently artificial neural network is a way to simulate the biological neural network operation, usually with limited success. Again, the operation of an artificial neural network is still far away from the reality of the biological neural network. Scientists and engineers are still searching for new methods and algorithms to simulate the artificial neural network and to improve its performance. Nevertheless, the biological neural network is metabolic system in which the neurons and synapses will continue to generate and to replace. Neuroscientists and MRI have shown that the biological neural network can actually improve with repeated use and proper training as in brain plasticity. Use it or lose it. In other words, as time goes by, the more one uses his or her brain, the more our brain will be smarter and better. This is known as the neural plasticity or malleability. For people who are actually born to be, few people are actually born to be geniuses. Sometimes we mistake a better prepared youngster as a genius. For example, if Mozart was born a century later, or if he was adopted into a poor farming family, his music talent may not be developed or discovered. For the average youngster who are not born geniuses, statistically, they can improve their neural network processing ability by smart learning through innovative training or education. Since our brain is metabolic and plastic, history has shown us some of the great scientists, mathematicians, scholars, artists were not born to be geniuses at a young age. It was in later years that they evolved to become the great geniuses. One of them is one is the one who developed the famous energy equation. This slide shows the major differences between biological neural network and digital computer. On the left hand side we see that the digital computer is good for computation, while on the right hand side the biological neural network is good for cognitive learning. The digital computer is not a metabolic system, but the biological neural network is a metabolic system. So far, the digital computer still cannot think. Of course, the biological neural network is good for thinking. The digital computer has no emotions. The biological neural network, of course, does have emotions and the other uh, different characteristics. We stress that although computer is not a metabolic system, its components may be replaced by human intervention. So far, computers still cannot think as a biological neural network. I am still in doubt that we can make computers think someday. If the computer someday can think like a human brain, then I would recommend that we annihilate them before it is too late for us. There are several features that a biological neural network performs better than a computer. For example, in cognitive learning, the biological neural network is malleable and the biological neural network can think and a computer still cannot. 
As for the neuron network adaptability, we have demonstrated previously with an artificial neuron network. Once again, we will look at unsupervised learning in which memory matrix converges to a feature map on the right-hand side of the next slide. In this slide, we see that on the left-hand side, the original memory matrix, that is a 2D brain, has no information stored. It has a 50% error pixel. As the neural network repeated encounter with a set of patterns, in our example as a set of English alphabet A, B, C, D, then by using Cohonen's learning algorithm, the memory matrix will eventually converge to a feature map as shown on the right-hand side of the slide. This implies that the neuron network has actually learned a set of letters A, B, C, D. Notice that the neuron network adaptability is another feature that current computer is not able to emulate.